Hello everyone. In yesterday's passage, uh, we saw Paul had been put in prison for the gospel, uh, and that as a result of it, people were preaching uh, even more boldly than before. Let me read you the next few verses. Some proclaim Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from goodwill. These proclaim Christ out of love, knowing that I've been put here for the defence of the gospel. The others proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, but intending to increase my suffering in my imprisonment. What does it matter? Just this, that Christ is proclaimed in every way, whether out of false motives or true. And in that I rejoice. Uh, so Paul is rejoicing at the uh, huge amounts of preaching that's going on around him. Um, but some of the people, it says, are preaching out of strange motives like jealousy, trying to one-up each other, and ambition, um, which didn't make a lot of sense to me when I first looked at this passage, uh, until I thought, what ambitions could one preach from? Why would one do things for God out of any other motive than love? And I realised that I've done that, actually. Um, there has been times like Alpha. Last time we ran Alpha, in theory, everyone there uh, is there because they have zeal for the Lord and enthusiasm to see people come to Christ. But some nights I was there because I promised Saul I would be there, and actually I was tired and I came out of a sense of duty. And I hope I'm not the only one who does that, who goes along with things the church is doing uh, because they've turned up to a session where everyone else is excited to do something and you don't want to be the one who puts a damper on things or who gets left out even if it's not really your gifting or really not in the mood. Well the only person who shows up out of a sense of responsibility without really having much passion for it or comes along because of the, who else will be there and for companionship but the actual cause you should love but in that moment you don't and that's okay it seems I mean Paul's excited the people are preaching the word of Jesus is getting out there it's being told even though the people aren't preaching for the best reasons and that's such a relief. We are so imperfect and we're all works in progress. The Holy Spirit is working in every believer to sanctify them, to turn them into something that they weren't to start with, to make us wonderful. But we're not there yet. And it's a relief that we don't have to wait to be the finished article, to be part of the kingdom work, to be useful to God and to be part of the work of preaching the gospel. The Holy Spirit is not hindered by us. Whatever lack we have in our motives or our motivation, God can do it still. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for those who first preached the gospel to us. Thank you for your perfect love carried by imperfect people. Holy Spirit, we pray that you'd work through us, using us to reach those you love. Knowing you transforms and saves people, and we want to see that in all around us. Use us, Lord. Amen.